Welcome back to The Compressor Guru. Today, I have no idea what we're filming, so it's gonna be as big of a surprise for me as it is for you. And now, here's The Compressor Guru. Hi, folks. I don't know what I'm doing today either. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've ever tried this. I know in theory it should work, I know, we're heating oil valve. The camera wife's pointing to the uh, oil on the stove that we're heating up to use to install these bearings. So John in Panama, a fine contributor, let me be woman, <laughs> to our channel, <laughs> suggested that for ease of rebuild next time, we should put never seize on the shaft in order to make bearing removal next time easier. I believe in never seize. The problem with never seize is if you have the slightest accident and get a little bit of it on your fingers, you'll look like this. The Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. So here we have our never seize that has been here forever and we're just gonna paint it right on okay the never sees is applied now because this is an experiment we should know what we're doing as far as what the temperatures are so we have our temperature gun and we just checked the oil. It's 163 degrees a few seconds ago. I changed chairs so that it wouldn't squeak on camera. Um, Thank you. The first two bearings we're going to put on are these bearings and it goes double on. This is a 2545 crank and it goes double bearing down here next to the uh, where the journal is, which is down between the blocks for the connecting rods. So, what we're going to do while that oil's heating up, we might as well not wait for these to heat up. I did clean out the pot or the saucepan very clean so there's no debris in there that can get inside the bearings. And the bearings are beveled on each side very nicely, so there's really not a front or a back to either bearing. So when we pull them out of the oil, we're going to drop them down on the other cameras in place. Mm -hmm. And that's where the lip is, where we have to get just a few thousandths extra clearance to drop down all the way. So we're going to drop these into the oil. And I got my tongs. That oil is really thin now. And we'll pull those out one at a time. And those were 67 degrees. We're now at 214 degrees. When we get to about 325 on this oil, we'll adjust the temperature so we quit heating as hard. And folks, I know it looks brand new. But this was the original stove we had when I married the Compressor Guru. Only a short 850 years ago. It just seems that long because you're so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so while that's heating, let me share a story with you about my first meal when we were married. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you can, it doesn't matter to me. My beautiful wife was not real experienced at cooking. And when we got married, we got married on a Saturday, went away on Saturday night, came home Sunday, went back to work Monday, and I was on the road all week. And Friday night I got home to our little apartment and our stove that we paid $75 for and didn't and one of the burners didn't work was in action and the camera wife had made a homemade pizza. You I made the crust and everything folks. She grew the wheat, 
She ground it. No. <laughs> so, it was a long, long day. <laughs> anyway, she took and uh, there was, this is back in BC days before Christ, but she uh, picked up a six pack of beer and I come in, I sit down at the table and she says, honey, I cooked us our first dinner. And she proceeded to serve me a slice of pizza and a cold beer. And I'm like, hey, this married stuff's pretty good. I took a sip of my beer. I took a bite of the pizza. And there was something definitely wrong. So, Val, what, what happened to that pizza? Would you like to explain? Well, I mean, we bought a used stove with one burner not working, which, by the way, still does not work. I fixed it. No, you didn't. I did, too. After we got another stove. I'm not sure. I think I fixed it before. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I thought it was important that we clean the oven. And I never cleaned an oven before, but I used Easy Off. Now, this is back in the 80s. So I sprayed this was everything. March of 85. And I wiped it all down, and it looked gorgeous. But nobody told me you're supposed to, like, take a bucket of water and then clean it again after that. I thought just looking good was good enough. So, actually, what he was tasting apparently was the easy off burning off of the rest of the oven. And So, when after you cleaned it, it wasn't, you didn't only not wipe it out with water, you didn't burn it off. Well, I nobody told me to. Okay. It doesn't say that on the can. Or did, it, did we eat out that night? And every night since. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this belly I have is from restaurant food. <laughs> We're at 239 and holding, so in just a few minutes. So I put cold bearing into hot oil, and it's going to take a while. To cut down our lead time, we're going to drop our next bearing and the spacer that we'll need. Uh, heat it also into the oil. It's a waiting game. Now that oil is about 330 degrees. The bearings are up to about 260 and we're going to give it a try. Pause your screen right now and let me know if you think it's going to drop right on or if we're going to have to work at it. Friends, I'm heading for the press. We're going to let the next bearing get even hotter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over and let the other bearings get even hotter. <laughs> we're going to try it again. we got four chances to make this happen. You don't want to bring the other bearing over here and try it here instead of carrying this back and forth? There you go thinking again. <laughs> does that make sense? It does, darn it, woman. Uh, so we're going to try with another bearing that's about the same temperature. It's about 230 degrees. And we're going to see if it just slides down because there's not as much never sees on it. Oh, I didn't give you a chance to try it out, folks, but it didn't work. Okay. Nope. As good as this idea sounds, it just doesn't work. So there's only one more way to try this. And what's that, Bill? Well, we're going to heat up the next one. Oh, get hotter. Even hotter. And if that doesn't work, quite frankly, this press works rather slick. Oh. 
we hit the shaft. That's different from being given the shaft. And it comes back up ever so slowly. How do you know if you have it down on there far enough? I was listening to the change in the pitch of the air motor in the pump. Being a musician, I was also listening to that. Okay. So the oil is about 300 and change. The warmest we're able to get a bearing looks like to be about 240. And we're going back and getting the bearing right now. Is that piece of metal? Oh, I thought that was part of your machinery here. Well, look. That one slid well, right on. Go. Ah, but this one doesn't want to go down. Even with pounding. Huh. Okay. It's almost like that one bearing was just not quite tight enough. Something. Something. So, whoever saw the show Mythbusters, I think we're going to have to call this one Busted. No, we're going to call it Plausible. Plausible, because of the three bearings, one did drop right on. But the final spacer after the last bearing did not drop right on. And, guys, it's time to leave a comment. Why did two not work, one work, and the spacer not work. It's obvious that the one bearing did work correctly. So we got our oil to about 410 degrees is where it topped out. Our bearings, we never got the steel over about 240. And that's as high as we got it. Do we need to take more time, let more heat? And if you look through the garage right now, uh, you'll see a lot of smoke hanging near the ceiling. Despite the fact that wasn't just boiling smoke off the oil, we do have a haze in here now. The noise you hear in the background is the parts cleaner because we put that in the parts cleaner to cool the bearings back down so we can handle it and uh, clean off any debris that we might have got from the uh, press that we didn't anticipate. Guys, leave a comment. We, we appreciate you. By the way, medical update. I'm waiting for another doctor's appointment, a second opinion. And yes, I am working on losing weight because that's why the first doctor canceled my surgery. Calls me a week ahead of time, says, we want you to lose 70 pounds. Why didn't you tell me that three months ago, doc? So I got an appointment with a guy in Pittsburgh that works on large men. So, but I'm trying to lose weight too. And I lost 13 pounds so far and I feel like this that's a picture of a stick man. Mm. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Like, subscribe. You got anything to say, camera wife? Uh, you, you look amazing. You have to say that. You're married to me. I don't have to stay married to you, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks. God bless. Have a great day.